Number one, you will become prayerful, especially in this area. One of the first spiritual signs that God is directing you to get married is that there will be a drive and longing in your spirit man to pray about your life partner. Everyone will see your hunger and thirst to God for wisdom concerning your life partner. The desire will consume you whenever you go to pray for even other things. James chapter 4 verses 1 to 2 From whence come wars and findings among you? Come, they not hence, even of your lusts that war in your members. Ye lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have, and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. There are inner conflicts in our hearts, once in a while, and when God is directing us in the face of marriage, God tells you that there are lusts that war in your members, and those lusts are to be directed to prayer. Those desires are not evil like many Christians say in the harsh religious circle. These desires in prayer are a huge sign that God is leading you to get married. Desires that are aligned to the will of God are given to Him to direct our path per time in what we should pray before it manifests. There is something special recorded in the scriptures in Romans chapter 8 verses 26 to 27. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. There is a working of the Holy Spirit in directing our prayer request in discerning the times and seasons in our lives. When God is directing you to get married, you might not even be thinking about it at that moment, but you have this strong passion to pray about your future home and rely on God's strength to order your steps to a good home. Number 2 you are financially independent. There is a charge that anyone that does not work should not eat. It is also spoken of beforehand that anyone that cannot feed his home is an infidel. If you cannot feed yourself at the stage you are and still beg and depend on the support of the home for finances, you are not ready to get married. But when a person begins to raise with a sense of responsibility to at least meet the basic need of his own life and can wholeheartedly decide this is what I am going to do with my finances. Without the fear of family pressure, it is an act of courage and it is given by God. This is one of the most important signs that God is directing you to get married. You don't have to think twice about it. That courage is God-given. Interdependence of men to help you once in a while is a strong level of concentration of God's direction to get married. It is wisely counseled among young youths, especially that when you begin to get financially independent to a point that you are sending home instead of receiving from home, you are directed by God for the phase of marriage. You are ready now. God doesn't confirm anything ready that has not passed qualification in His will. Finance is a vital part and support of marriage despite love. It goes especially for the men because by the office in marriage, you should be man enough to provide for the family. You have to be financially independent. Number 3. You have settled insecurities. A life of insecurity is a life of blindness in purpose. When people are insecure, they are easily given to bitterness and offense. 
Offense and bitterness are weeds that destroy associations and relationships. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 14 to 15. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man fails of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness, springing up trouble, hew, and thereby many be defiled. Making peace is a very important requirement in a working marriage. The devil knows this, and this is why he uses little strife and division to cause major breakups in marriage, and that is why God has to train you to never have insecurity before you get married and when you have settled insecurities, it is a big sign that God is directing you to get married because now you are ready. To love your partner wholeheartedly, you must have dealt with insecurities. It brings unnecessary arguments. Insecurity makes us come to a point where we begin to assume this is what a person thinks when they never meant it. Insecurities are a result and the fruit of self-esteem, self-pride, and ego. Insecurity is a fruit of hidden condemnation. When you are insecure, you feel everyone is against you. When you are insecure, you can never be at rest. You never trust anyone. The only cure to insecurity is the love that God gives, which Greeks call agape which is unconditional, unmerited, and undeserving. It is the love of God that cures us from insecurity. When we become insecure, we make a good partner for God to use for His purpose in marriage. It is a sign that God is directing you to get married. Number 4. Putting God as your priority there is God's purpose for instituting marriage. When one has learned to put God as a priority in his life, it is a foremost sign that God is directing the person to get married. When you have been made to understand that the purpose of your existence is to live for him, then you are directed by God to get married. People can see that this person is being directed by God to get married when you submit your will, opinion, and suggestion to the Word of God. God has exalted His Word above His name. When you submit to God and put Him as a priority, you can never have a broken home. When you are Christ-centered, you lift the pressures of yourself to God. That attitude is a great sign that can be seen that you are directed by God to get married. When you live this way, you will desire to honor God in every area of life, including your relationship. God delights in a heart that puts Him first like David. When you are God-fearing and devoted to God, you are walking in a big sign that you are directed to get married. When you put God as a priority in your life, the devil can never sit in that home. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 2 For all those things hath mine had made, and all those things have been, saith the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. Number 5 you do not rush things anymore. When you are a person that has yielded to the leadings and counsel of the Spirit, you are walking in a vital sign of disclaimer that God is directing you to get married. When God is training your patience, you are willing to slow down to know the person better. When we can see this attitude of patience to submit to the training of time, to reveal and refine your character, it is a sign. When you are a person that doesn't rush into things but seeks God's will on them, it is a sign that God is directing you to get married. God says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, 
They are the sons of God. God does not rush people. He leads people. You will realize that anything that rushes you is not from God. You were given to the test of time and no matter what happens in the outward circumstances, this person doesn't compromise but sticks to the will of God in every area. Number 6. Emotional Maturity When many are young, they make many wrong decisions. They are dramatic and overly sensitive because of the cloud of emotion. Emotional maturity is that you can make a wise decision despite your emotions. Emotional maturity involves not allowing your feelings to cloud your decision making and judgment of situations. That from now, you have begun to make strict decisions in your life. Sure, it must be according to the word of God. Because when you are getting married, sometimes you might not feel married. Sometimes you might feel like loving your life partner, but with emotional maturity, you can tame your body to do what the word of God says, which is to love unconditionally your wife, whether she is right or wrong. So like 